What's going on? This is Cody, and you're watching B-Boy 45, broadcasting from the Seacrest Studios. We've got another special edition of the latest news to keep you in the groove with Maya. Maya, I know sometimes behind the scenes things have to happen, and they end up getting put on camera. No big deal. Maya, who do we have on the phone with us today? Gavin Lewis from the Netflix show Prince of Peoria. Gavin, are you there? Yes, I am. Excellent. We're so glad to have you. Welcome. Maya, take it away. Okay, so um, first I was wondering who or what inspired you to start acting? Uh, to start acting, it was kind of a funny process. When I was younger, I didn't really want anything to do with acting. Uh, it was both my parents were in theater and it wasn't something I was really interested in. But then I was invited by one of her old students, my mom's old students, to audition for a film role, a small little part. And I tried it out and decided that I loved it and <laughs> kind of snowballed from there. That's a good story. I like yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so who do you look up to in the acting industry? Uh. Probably Benedict Cumberbatch. I think he's an incredible actor, and I try and learn what I can from watching him. I was just saying yesterday how all of a sudden I feel like he's everywhere. Yeah, he's he's been doing, like, a lot lately. Yeah, super, super busy. Yeah. yeah. Um, do you have any upcoming projects? Uh, right now, I'm just waiting to see what's going on with the show and uh, I have I do have one coming out actually called Roswell New Mexico um, it's it's a fun remake of an old alien show um, that I am a part of and when is that yeah. where can we find that uh, it will be playing on the CW excellent cool um so, what's your favorite part about playing Emil on Prince of Peoria? Uh, I just, I love uh, how happy he is and how energetic he is and uh, just how he loves everybody and is always happy with everything all the time. Uh, I also had a lot of fun doing the dialects for the character. And what dialect do you, uh, are? I'm sorry, this is Cody... I, I don't know anything about the show other than what Maya's brought to us. So tell me, what is your what would you what is your dialect? Oh, it's um it's technically a made up dialect, but it's me riffing off of like a classic British upper class dialect. Oh, I like that. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> can you give us an example? Like you want me to do it? Like first? can you say uh can you say you're listening to the latest news to keep you in the groove? You're listening to the latest news to keep you in the groove. Oh, that's very good. I, I do like that. Now, that would take me uh, years to perfect. <laughs> it, it was a lot of fun. I have a, a dialect coach uh, that is actually British uh, that helped me work on the dialect. That's cool. Yeah. Um, so do you have any fun stories from set? Uh, well, me and Theo, the, uh, my co-lead, had a lot of fun. In between takes, we would uh, play with the little basketball hoop on the back of the door in our bedroom. It was uh, a, a prop, but they had little foam basketballs that we could use, and we spent all our time playing on that little basketball hoop behind the door. And then about halfway through filming, production actually brought in a full-size basketball hoop for us <laughs> to play on. They were like, don't break that. We need that for the show. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, so are there any similarities between you and Emil? Uh, yeah, I think uh, Emil and I share like a positive outlook and a desire to have close friends, but <laughs> I, I probably wouldn't be as uh, positive about some of the things he has to do, like uh, using a drain snake in the show. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what's it like working with the cast of Prince of Peoria? 
it was an awesome experience. Uh, everybody, every single person on the set of that show in front of the camera and behind the camera were incredible people. Uh, I got very, very lucky that everybody I got to work with was nice and professional. And uh, Theo, who plays Teddy, was awesome. I had a lot of fun working with him, too. Cool. Cool. Um, so you've done movies and performed on stage and you're now on TV. Is there one that you prefer? Uh, between theater and television? And movies. And movies. Um, I probably like film and television, like making TV shows the most. Um, because it's, it's like... I get the live audience on um, like Prince of Peoria. I had a live audience, which was honestly for me, the best part of theater. So I got the energy from that. Um, but like I got to redo takes and stuff, which I <laughs> like a lot. <laughs> and it, it's fun because I, I get to watch shows with my friends. It's not just like a one time job. Cool. That um, is the best of all worlds. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so um, I know that you raise awareness and education for type 1 diabetes. And yeah. so I was wondering, like, how you manage um, your health onset and how um, uh, and have you had to educate your castmates? Uh, yeah, it's. On set, we just have to keep a little bit of a closer eye on it because if I drop too low or go too high, we have to stop filming. But that actually happened only one time in the whole filming of Prince of Peoria that my blood sugar got a little too low and I had to pause filming for a second. But for us, it's just keeping a close eye on it uh, outside in between takes. Um, and castmates were just intrigued like where I would occasionally wear t-shirts that would show like a site or my continuous glucose monitor um and they would just be like what is that on your arm and so I would just explain what uh type 1 diabetes was and, and it was a very positive reaction from uh castmates and the crew were very supportive and okay with having to sometimes take a second if my blood sugar dropped too low that's great. We have a lot of uh, kids here that are uh, dealing with that as well. So it's, it's really neat to hear someone who's uh, out and about in the world and managing it, which is great. Yeah. Um, so what's your favorite show of all time? Oh, all time. Um, I... <laughs> I've been having a lot of fun watching. It's a silly little show on Netflix called uh, One Punch Man. One it's, Punch Man? Yes. <laughs> it's, uh, it's an animated show that's uh, like an action series, and I've been having a lot of fun watching that show. We'll have to check it out. I've never seen yeah. it. Yeah, it's yeah. fun. But you're saying it's worth my time. I'll, I'll definitely do it. Yeah. All right. Um, is there a show you're currently binge watching? Ooh, the Good Place. Oh. I've been watching a lot of The Good Place. I'm um, caught up, I think, actually. I, I binge all of them in about a month. <laughs> <laughs> I love that show. <laughs> it's really good. It's funny. Yeah, it is. Yeah, um, so I was wondering... Oh, wait. First, I have a question about the good place. <laughs> She's like, wait, focus. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I can't, like, focus on one thing, so... Maya is an expert on TV shows and everything in general, so pretty much yeah, okay. she's going to know about it, and then something will, you know, get her attention, so... Exactly. Go ahead, Maya. What do you got about yeah. the good place? So, like, the the plot twist in the season one finale... Mm-hmm. I was wondering what, like, what you thought about that. Oh, okay. Well, wait, that was, that was, um, which there, there, there have been a couple. I'm mixing them up. Which, which process was it? 
where they realize that they're not actually in the good place. I thought that was a great twist. That yeah. wasn't like I often find that some of the twists in TV shows I'm expecting to happen, but I thought that was great. I, I wasn't expecting it at all, and yeah. I actually like uh, the actor that plays Michael more as a bad guy. I think he's more fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that what Ted Danson yeah. plays Michael Moore? Yeah. 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 So funny. Yeah. Yeah, I liked the plot twist. <laughs> and me, I was just <laughs> angry about it, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought I thought it was pretty good. Yeah. I was <laughs> yeah. Um so who's your favorite actor or actress? Um it's that it, I've gotta say it's probably tied between Benedict Cumberbatch and Robert Downey Jr. I I think they're both really, really great. Cool. Um yeah, I I like those actors. <laughs> Both in Avengers. Yeah, um, my sister loves the Avengers, so she's um, a huge fan of both of them. Oh, that's cool. So, yeah. Um, so, what would be your dream show to guest star on? Oh, man. Um... Um, I know as far as like movies I would want to do like some kind of action movie like uh, Marvel some kind of Marvel movie but I'm not sure on TV show maybe something like Good Place like a a comedy oh, that would yeah. be fun yeah yeah would um, you want to be the in the in the action movie would you want to be on the good side or on the bad side the hero side. side or the villain side I'd say hero then. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, is there someone you hope to work with in the future? Hmm. Um, there are quite a few like comedic actors that I think would be great. I Jerry Trainer, I like a lot. I think it would be cool to work opposite him. He was uh, Spencer and iCarly. Oh, okay. really funny. I think would be cool to work opposite someone like him, or uh, again another like really serious uh, drama actor like someone like Donna Cumberbatch. I think would be incredible to play opposite. Cool, cool. Um, so, is there someone you've met that you've been completely starstruck by? Ooh. I I actually got to meet Jerry Trainer uh not that long ago and it was one of the few times that I have been very very awkward in a conversation. <laughs> um I I was a little stunned. Did you did you run into him in the grocery store? I'm just <laughs> I kidding. Ran into, <laughs> it, it was it was on set. Oh, okay, set. okay. <laughs> now if you ran into the grocery store I'd totally understand being like, "What?" So, that's what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. um, so, what song do you roll down the windows and rock out to? Ooh. Ooh. Um, uh, I think it's called Saturday Night Amen by Panic at the Disco. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I think that's what it's called. I like that song a lot. That would, that would probably be my choice. Yeah, that's a good song. Yeah. Um, so, what is your biggest pet peeve? Ooh. Um, I don't know if I've got one. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know. I can, uh, I feel like I feel like I definitely have one, but I can't think of it until somebody actually does it. <laughs> right. Well, that's a good positive way to way to think of things. You're not annoyed until it actually happens. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I have a lot of pet peeves. <laughs> um so, if you could have any song playing to announce your entrance into a room, what song would you want it to be? That's a good one. Um, 
Oh, man. Um, I mean, Let It Go is available from uh, <laughs> Frozen. Oh. If that's an option, I may I'm, I may have to roll with that. <laughs> if that, I, I mean, I didn't consider that one as an option, but since it is, yeah, maybe it's that one. you know, it's people would be like, yeah, that was a good choice. <laughs> they would, yeah, it, it makes a strong statement too coming. In here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, do you have a motto or quotation that you live by? Uh... I like maximum effort. That's a good one. Just like remembering to give it everything you've got. That's good. Don't leave anything on the table. Yeah. Yep. Cody, can we go back to talking about the good place? Yes. (laughs) What else do you want to know, Maya? She says, I don't know, but I just think that it's cool that we like the same show. Yeah. (laughs) It's a good show. It's a good show. Are you caught up? No, I... Okay, so I... We've watched, like, my family and I have watched, like, a couple episodes of the current season, but we're not all caught caught up because... Um, right now we're watching the marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Oh, I don't think I've seen so, that. That sounds fun. It's a Amazon show, and it's really good. Got it. Cool. Yeah. yeah. I'll, have uh, to, I'll have to look at that. It's on Amazon. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Um. I lost track. Of You're on your last question, right there, girl. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so my last question for you is, who do you consider to be a real-life superhero and why? Oh, man. Um, that is an excellent question. <laughs> um <laughs> It's, it's gonna sound it's gonna sound cheesy, but I'm gonna say my parents. Nothing cheesy about that. Yeah. Yep. For helping me be out here and letting me follow my dream and do what I love. Now, have you always lived out there, or did they move move you out there? Uh, they moved me out here. I'm from uh, Salt Lake City, Utah, originally. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Well, that is a big deal then for them to make that leap for you. That's awesome. Yeah, okay. it is. That's great. Yeah. Um, so thank you so much for calling in. Um, <laughs> yeah, thank you for having me. Oh, oh. she's getting a side note so, from her uh, co-producer. Just kidding. It's really her mom <laughs> giving her a note. <laughs> yeah. Um, she has one more question. Yeah, so okay. I was wondering about... Um, so Jonathan McLean is um, a friend of mine, and so I was just mm-hmm. wondering what it was like working with him. Yeah, he's also he, called into this show. He told me, and yeah, he uh, said uh, the show was awesome, and that he recommended if I could have an interview with you guys that I should take it because he's amazing. He's an awesome guy. He. Uh, working with him was incredible. He was a lot of fun um, to work with. He was always super prepared. Very, very, very nice person. Um, and he was just a lot of fun. His choices were always different on um, his lines and a lot of fun to play off of. That's great. That, yeah, that's so cool. Um, so thank you so much for calling in. I'm a little, I'm still a little bit starstruck. Um, so. That's how she'd answer that question is yeah. who makes her starstruck? Everyone she's talked to included, including Gavin Lewis. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. Just know. <laughs> no, thank you guys for having me. Gavin, it's yeah. been awesome. Thank you so much. Thank I know you. the kids here at Children's Hospital of Colorado have enjoyed hearing from you, and I know Maya has enjoyed it as well. You're awesome. Yeah. Just know that if you're ever in Colorado, we'd love to have you swing by and see us here in the Seacrest studio. That would be great. All right. Take care, Gavin. We'll look forward to uh, Prince of Peoria on Netflix. Thank you. See ya. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.